What's going on, y'all? We are headed uh, to a no heat call. She said it heats. No, I'm sorry. It cools, but it doesn't heat. She has no idea if it's a heat pump or... I think she said she does know she's electric, but she doesn't know if she's a heat pump. Now, this area where we're going, they do have heat pumps in the area. So I'm thinking it's gonna be a heat pump. If not, it's gonna be straight air conditioning with electric heat. So, we're gonna go take a look. It's a Ream Rude system that's under warranty. And she actually called the 1-800 number for the Ream Warranty Department. She Googled Ream Warranty Department and she called Ream Manufacturing. And Ream Manufacturing asked her for her zip code and they could have chose any contractor that they wanted you know a dealer one of their dealers and they recommended me and ream manufacturing even told her about my youtube channel that they've seen my youtube channel and that i do a really good job so ream manufacturing actually recommended me to this lady so uh i want to give a huge shout out to ream manufacturing to uh, recommending me for this service call. I really appreciate it. And we're gonna, uh, hopefully she won't be a helicopter. And even if she is, I could probably put my my chest strap on and we can get some film on this and, you know, see what uh, see what we can find. But I, again, I don't know if it's a heat pump or if it's a gas furnace. It could be a gas furnace. She said she's electric, but I've I've had people tell me that and they have gas. So there's no telling what we're gonna run into. So I thought we would, we'd see together. So here we go. Okay guys, so there it is. It's a rude heat pump. It is a heat pump. Her thermostat was programmed wrong. It's a three and a half ton. And uh, the thermostat, they had it, they didn't have it programmed right for heat pump so that may be all it is but it, it needs a really good cleaning so i'm gonna bring that to her attention but i'm gonna go ahead and there she is she just kicked on i'm gonna go ahead and put my probes on here and check it in cooling and heating mode Mine's getting nice and hot. I gotta hook up the true suction. We're in the heat mode, I forgot about that. I need to hook this one up. I gotta go to true suction, because we are in heating right now. And to go to cooling, rather than go pull the thermostat and wait on another delay, I'll just pull the B wire off the defrost board and that'll shift it to cooling. I'm gonna go ahead and check head pressure on the liquid line. This thing is filthy. This is a 2017 RP1442. It's 
get the phone pulled up. That looks good. There's nothing wrong with that at all. I think this was just a simple, uh, everything's looking good. I think it was just a bad program on that thermostat. Now, this thing is filthy. Look, you see how dirty it is? You want me to clean it while I'm here? So you didn't have the unit put in when you bought the house, it was here. Okay. Yeah, I got him. Okay. Oh, it shut off already. It done heated up that house. You felt it heating? Yeah. Yeah, my dad, he's the, he does window units and refrigerators and uh, stoves and stuff. I got you. So he came and looked at me like, no, you have to call a professional. <laughs> Something that he, a trade that he learned and he does it on the side. Right. Well, you called the right person. Awesome. I'm glad to know that. I'm definitely still There's a lot of them that... Yeah, I'm going to give you some cards. Okay. And I've even got magnets you could stick on your refrigerator with my logo and my phone number and all that. Okay. Uh, no, it doesn't need it. It just, I'm going to take the covers off. It just needs a good washing. Yep. That faucet works? Uh, I, been, it just made a year. Like, we haven't done the update yet. We want to do. Right. And I really, I've never been really in the backyard. Outside is not my thing. <laughs> you got a nice yard. Your land goes all the way to the trees? Um, just into, uh, no, Until the grass gets a little higher. Yeah. Yeah, still nice. yeah. yeah it's still nice. Right. Yeah. There you go. Okay. She's giving me approval. To clean the unit she's been living here about a year she did not have the unit installed the unit was installed when she bought the house got me a work table from the recommendation of my good friend mr curtis hvac guy got that that, that uh dewalt work table for changing motors and stuff so i don't have to do it on the ground my buckets keep falling over. Okay, so this is the one I want right here. We're 
gonna go wash it. Okay, guys, that was uh, probably for y'all not the most exciting service call. I mean, I like stuff like this. This poor woman didn't know what was going on. She just bought this house, and it had that system on it. And she had a Honeywell 6000, uh, Focus Pro 6000 Wi-Fi thermostat. And it was programmed wrong. It, was, it wasn't programmed for a heat pump. It was programmed for conventional one heat, one cool. So we programmed it for heat pump and the heat pump came right on. I tested the heat strips and emergency heat. They came right on. Uh, the coolings, but she said the cooling had been working fine. So the cooling's been working. Good thing it's a Rima Rude because if it had been any other brand, it would have been heating because they energize in the cooling mode. Rima and Rude energize in the heating. So that's why she had AC. Anyway, an easy little call. The unit was dirty, so I, I, I signed her up on a maintenance program, and uh, we went ahead and performed the maintenance on it today, and uh, that was about it. Everything else looked okay, but she's very happy, and uh, I think I got a lifetime customer here. So um, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one.